Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore your Kodi. Let's say you have your own Kodi build and you want to just move it from one device to another and you want to back it up or you just want to back it up in case something happens to the Kodi files then this is the way to back up your Kodi and then I'll show you next how to restore it. First, you have to go to settings and then you go to file manager. You click add source none you type the following source. I'll be leaving the link in the comments, in the description I mean. It's going to be repo.aris-project.com slash magic. You click OK. And in the name, just name it like this, dot aris. Click OK. Click OK. Now you go back to the main page in add on section. You go to the small little box all over here. You click on it and then you click install from zip file. For the first times, you have to make sure to enable unknown sources. This is a demo video, that's why it's asking me for the first time why it's. Me, well, that's why it's giving me this warning. So you click yes. So normally you should be here and then you click install from zip file. Now you have to look for something called aris.aris. Repository.aris project. And then you click on the zip file. You wait until you see the logo here. It says RS enabled. Here we go, add on installed. And then the next step is you have to go to install from repository. You have to click on RS project, program add ons, and then RS wizard. The current version is 0 0.0.58, but usually it automatically updates itself. So you just click install and it already downloaded. After that you click on it and then open. I don't know, maybe I encountered some problem here. Just give me a second, let me open it again. So here we go. Addons, Iris Wizard. Just give it a few seconds guys, because sometimes after you open it, it just need to be loaded. So give it a few seconds. So, this is the Aris project. It's completely free. And where you need to go now is to click Backup. There is the backup section and there is the restore section. We'll talk about this later. For the backup section, you have to select the destination where you want to back up your file. You click select destination. So in the backup tab, you click backup destination folder. For me, I'm going to choose one of my hard drives, D. You can choose whatever you want as long as you remember it. So I'm going to click D. And then OK. Next step is OK. Then you have to click refresh. So the hard drive is selected where to back up your data. The next step is if you want to do full system backup or if you want to do add-ons or you want to do a favorite or only your sources. For me, I'm just going to do full system backup of my Kodi so that I can install it anywhere I want or I can, in case of any error, I just can restore the whole system. So you click full system backup and then you click make backup. Would you like to skip things like Kodi files? Click yes. So backing up is done. Of course, it's not going to be this fast if you have 
or advanced build or anything but this is the basic build i'm just doing it for tutorial and for demo version click ok when you get this message click no now your download is completed so let's say you want to click again and restore your Kodiba build you go on RS wizard again again wait for it to open so for now for teaching purposes I already have my own build for Kodi and I saved my build on the desktop so I'm just gonna restore to this build to show you how to restore it but first let me show you where was the build that we made so you go to SPC D and this is the backup we've just made it's dated by the today's date 26 2017 and RS backup so this is the one anyways in order to show you how to restore you go back to Kodi you go back to RS you click backup again then you go to the restore section you click select backup file in the restore tab you have to select where did you put your backup for me it's in D and this is it Iris backup click OK refresh then you click restore backup for this you click proceed and give it a few seconds or maybe a minute or two depends on how big is your file and restore is completed you click OK so now you have to close Kodi fully sometimes you click OK and it's closed we open it again This is my Kodi build I already told you about guys. It's already here. And now finally I backed up and restored my Kodi. Guys, if you like my video, just a token of appreciation. Please click subscribe. Any comments, any help you need, just leave a comment in the tab. And let me know guys. Have a good day.